Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Mess. So here we're continuing the series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project, and I'm going to be doing a video today that's unlike any of the videos we've done so far, and that is to answer a question that I keep hearing asked constantly on the channel. Don't get me wrong, I love answering questions, it is a fun one. The question on the table today is whether or not the Sega Model 2 would actually be able to run on Mr. FPGA and the chip on the DE10 Nano board. But here's the thing about Model 2. Everyone asks if Model 2 can run or not, and that is a good question, but in reality there are four revisions of the Sega Model 2 board, so we have to ask the question, which revisions could possibly run, could all of them run, or would everything basically be a non-starter? As we take a look at some virtual cop footage here, this runs on the original Sega Model 2 board. Each board revision from the original adds something to the mix, whether that's increased sound capabilities, new GPU hardware, different sort of DSP chips, every single revision is going to increase the spec of the hardware. So when we answer the question, at least to the best of my knowledge, whether or not this would run on Mr., we have to answer that four different times. Now taking a look at the Sega Model 2 hardware right here, you're going to see that it's going to use an Intel i960 processor at 25 megahertz. Now as far as processor speed is concerned, on Mr. 25 megahertz for CPU really isn't anything too high test. We have cores that are running much faster than that. And across the board with all of the Sega Model 2s, the CPU does stay exactly the same. So if we can get that i960 running on a mister, then we at least have the CPU sorted for all four revisions of the Model 2. And I know what you're thinking, but it doesn't even look that graphically complex. Compared to something like Perfect Dark, which recently became playable on the Nintendo 64 core, and the Sega Model 2 definitely looks inferior to this hardware. But don't forget, looks can be deceiving. Just because Nintendo 64 looks nicer on your screen does not mean it's less complex to get into an FPGA chip. Now as far as the CPU is concerned, that Intel i960 running at 25 MHz, that is a speed in which we currently have cores that match it, and we have plenty of cores that exceed it. Now don't forget, I am a filmmaker who loves electronics and repairing arcade boards and dealing with the hardware, but I am not an electronics engineer, so keep that in mind. But we have something like FPGA Zoom's boss's PlayStation 1 2X core, which takes the stock clock speed of the PlayStation 1 33.33 MHz and dials it up to a double 66.66 pretty much the CPU speed of the devil, if you will. And you'll see here on the Chrono Cross intro screen, it is running so much faster. And this was a test to see whether or not Nintendo 64 CPU speeds would be achievable on the hardware. So at least on the CPU side, I don't see anything that would preclude the Sega Model 2 from running on Mr. Now we still have a lot of other hardware to go through and we need to talk about different revisions. So I'm not answering the question until the end of the video. If we move over to Sky Target, we have jumped up to the Model 2A, which is going to expand the specifications of the base Model 2, and I will get into those specifications in just a moment. But now we're getting stuff that looks really visually interesting, and for its time and place, was something that you could just not get in the home arcade. This is an absolutely spectacular game, and it is one that I would love to see on Mister. We currently have it on the Sega Saturn Core, but a Model 2 Core would be absolutely amazing. Now let's see what they did differently here on the Model 2A-CRX, I'm just going to be calling it 2A for here. They upgraded the sound capabilities, increased the game ROM capacity, but what did they do on the sound side? You're going to see here we have a Motorola 68000, a chip that runs a lot of stuff on Mr. Then we also have this Saturn Custom Sound Processor that was added to the Model 2A, and the good thing is we know that runs on Mr. because we have the work in progress Sega Saturn Core from SRG320. It's amazing to have this already working. We can at least say on the sound side of things, the sound CPU and processor on the 2A board are already things that we have implemented within the Mr. Architecture as far as other cores are concerned. And every time we jump up a generation as far as the model boards are concerned, you are going to see that they keep leaping graphically as well. Some of that's just down to the artist getting more comfortable with the hardware. I will tell you when the leap in visuals has anything to do with actual tangible hardware put onto the arcade board. But we obviously know on Mister there's different cores that are using the Motorola 68000, and we know that the work in progress Sega Saturn Core is using the Saturn Custom Sound Processor because we've been doing videos on it and giving you previews. But go ahead and listen for like 30 seconds so you know what it sounds like so I can talk about the rest of the hardware. Enjoy! Go. So 
So now you know the sound processor works as far as the mister is concerned. You're probably wondering why I've jumped over to the Model 2 footage of fighting vipers. That's not just because it was a good cut. We've also jumped a generation into the Sega Model 2B, which is going to have some fundamental changes as far as the GPU architecture is concerned. You will see here, this is a graphical leap. The Model 2B kind of feels like almost a new platform. Sega was constantly iterating on this hardware, and that's what I want you to understand. If somebody does make an attempt at getting Model 2 onto the Mister, they're really attempting to get four different boards onto the Mister. Sure, they're all called Model 2 and that's how it works, but it really is four different sets of hardware that share very many similarities between each other, but do all have some fundamental change that would have to be factored in so you could get the entire library of Sega Model 2 games playing. Something like Sonic the Fighters here looks way better than Virtual Fighter 2 that was running on the stock Sega Model 2, and that's just how it works. But let's go over to the hardware spec as to what actually changed around for the 2B. You're going to see it features an upgraded geometry engine or a digital signal processor and we're going to see right down here that is going to be this ADSP shark chip at 40 megahertz which interestingly enough is the exact same DSP that's utilized from Konami with things like solar assault. Awesome game, super fun, you can get a look at it in different hardware, but those DSP chips do start showing up on the Model 2B, and that is just going to be a change that would have to be factored in when you get to Mr. FPGA if you want these games running on the 2B core. And that's just the tricky thing. We're starting to expand how many chips we need to have running at once. Something like this baseball game right here, not the most complex thing in the world, but it's using new chips that didn't exist on the first two boards we showed you. And what I want you to understand is with the logic elements, you need to fit all of the chips on at once. So it's not just about megahertz, it's also about having enough logic elements and being able to lay them up within the HDL and Verilog code to make it actually work. And you'll see if as far as these stock graphics are concerned, we have six Fujitsu chips on the board as well as the Sega video board. We're now just starting to pile on chips. This is like opening a bag of Lay's and dumping it into a bowl. There are chips everywhere. And you need to remember compared to something like Nintendo 64, which you're currently playing, that system basically has like three total chips in it. So it's not just whether or not megahertz work or whether or not we think graphically this would work compared to what we've seen. It is a logic element issue and it is being able to fit it in the FPGA. There's also other concerns. We've now jumped up a generation to the 2C. The House of the Dead, one of my favorite Model 2 games of all time, runs in 24 kilohertz if you have a monitor in front of you. All the arcade cabinets run at medium resolution. So if you actually wanted to play Model 2, the House of the Dead on Mister, you would need to either accommodate for that or make some changes in code so that you could actually have a light gun that would function. Because this game's not gonna work at 15 kilohertz or 240p or 31 kilohertz or 480p, you gotta have the medium resolution. Now as far as the Model 2C is concerned, this also featured an upgraded GPU chipset as well as an optional MPEG soundboard. So now we have more chips on the board that are dealing with all of the different graphical capabilities of the Model 2 2C, and on the sound side we have two optional MPEG soundboards. Both of them are going to be using the same NEC chip. One uses a Zilog Z80 CPU, which we have on Mister. The other uses that Motorola 68000. But again, what I'm trying to get to here is that we keep increasing the amount of silicon that needs to be replicated on the Mister so that we can have all of this running. I've done a video before, I'll link it below. The Mister has a finite amount of logic elements. Every time you recreate silicon in FPGA code, you are using some of those logic elements to be able to deal with it. You also need to deal with all of the routing within that chip so that everything talks to itself with the correct timings. And this gets to be a very difficult job, and the more chips you start adding into the mix, the more difficult that job absolutely becomes. So the question really is, do I think the Sega Model 2 would work on Mister? And here's what I genuinely think, and I hope to be proven wrong. I think Sega Model 2 could be doable. Model 2A, I think you're going to get away with as well. But once you start adding the Model 2B and the Model 2C additional hardware into the mix, I have this firm belief that you're going to exceed what the FPGA chip on the Mister is capable of. But I love to be proven wrong, and again, filmmaker, not electrical engineer, so what in the hell do I even really know? An absolute metric crap ton about arcade hardware with a decent understanding of FPGA technology before I owned a Mister that has definitely been expanded upon now that I have one. Those are my thoughts, this is just an opinion, I hope to be proven wrong, so somebody out there make all of the Model 2 boards on Mister work, and I will absolutely eat my words. See you next time, bye bye.